Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of Cinnaminson is brought to you by NJM Insurance. You have to love the bagpipes entrance. The Rancocas Valley Red Devils coming out accompanied by a New Jersey State Trooper for a Burlington County battle against Cinnaminson. This match was dubbed Wrestling for Heroes. Both teams hitting the mat to honor first responders and military personnel like Sergeant Brian Freeman and Trooper Sean Cullen, both who lost their lives in the line of duty and who had ties to both wrestling programs. Just a great cause in Southwest Jersey. RV was arguably Burlington County's top team from a year ago. This match starts at 182, right in the heart of Rancocas Valley's best wrestlers. Drew Bowker won the District 27 title last season. He looks good to go so far in 2019. Bowker with the double, he throws in the half on Rashad Raymond. Raymond trying to fight out of the pin, but he just can't. Bowker with the pinfall in the first period. It's in 44 seconds, RV up 6-0. Nick Maffetone follows up Bowker with a pin of his own. At 195, he hits the good old cement job. Maffetone has that locked in tight. He pins Sean Sonny in one minute in 38 seconds for another first period pin. 12-0 RV after two. Cinnaminson gets on the board with the decision at 220 to make it 12-3. So now we get to the big fellas at 285. Mark Loveland for Rancocas Valley settles in from the armbar. Loveland tries to flatten out Luke Halecki. He gets the pinfall in only 24 seconds. Rancocas Valley dominating through four bouts. They lead 18-3. The train keeps rolling at 106. Anthony LaSala goes with the hammerlock and he turns that into the half Nelson. LaSala puts Chris White on his back and locks up the pin in only 54 seconds. That pin plus an RV forfeit at 113 gives the Red Devils a 30 to three lead through six bouts. After the forfeit, it's Jaden Gonzalez on the mat for Rancocas Valley at 120 pounds. Gonzalez sees all his teammates getting in on the pins he says, why not for himself? Gonzalez locks the cradle in, and he's going to have to work a little to flatten out Brian Portley, but he gets the pin. This one comes in 31 seconds of the first period. Cinnaminson will not go out quietly, though. Nick Schuler steps up at 126, and Nick schuler has got something special in his bag of tricks. It's the banana split. Nick Schuler gets the pinfall in 1 minute 28 seconds for the Pirates, their first bonus points of the match. It's now 36-9, RV still leads. Gia Janone put in work at 132. Leading 15-2 to start the third period, he goes out in the final two minutes to get the tech fall in a 17-2 win. Janone had the final bonus points for a rank Hocus Valley team who really put Burlington County on notice. 50-24 is your final. RV had five first period pins as they rolled through Cinnaminson to capture team win number six on the season. The Red Devils hit the match Saturday against Haddon Township looking for their fifth win in a row. Reporting from Cinnaminson, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.